So during the EHA uh, 2019 in Amsterdam, we heard uh, a lot about uh, new drugs, new strategies in myeloma. Very promising results. I would like to focus on four uh, topics. First, uh, um, we could call it treat earlier, and that is related to the subset of patients who have a smoldering multiple myeloma. So the uh, IMWG uh, conducted a retrospective study and described a new prognostic score, very easy uh, actually to, to realize, everybody can do it, uh, um, and uh, predicting of a progression of 50% within two years. So this is this we will see, but this this is uh, uh, again very easy uh, prognos new prognostic score for smoldering myeloma, and also there is a therapeutic uh, um, um, abstract on uh, the treatment of these uh, high risk smoldering myeloma with revlimid or no treatment, and uh, they showed that uh, there is a benefit. Uh, to treat earlier this uh, smoldering myeloma uh, with Revlimid only, um, increasing uh, dramatically the PFS, and actually that may be uh, a change in the daily uh, practice in the future. So that's the first uh, point, uh, treat earlier, if I, if I could say. Uh, second point, uh, uh, and this is uh, again about monoclonal antibodies and mostly anti-CD38. Uh, Philippe Moreau presented for the transplant eligible patients the Cassiopeia study uh, that was performed uh, mostly uh, by the IFM showing a high uh, response rate combining VTD, VLK thalidomide DEX plus daratumumab uh, before the transplant and in consolidation after the transplant. So um, this is uh, the first uh, upfront uh, combination uh, in the uh, uh, transplant eligible patients uh, trial showing high efficacy adding uh, daratumumab to the standard VTD regimen. Uh, we heard also uh, in the relapse setting this time, uh, the ICAIA uh, trial combining pomalidomide plus DEX plus a new uh, CD30 uh, anti CD38 monoclonal antibody, namely Izatuximab. And uh, uh, in this setting, the results were uh, compared to without the, 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 the itax, izatuximab and the results were really uh, encouraging in favor of adding izatuximab to pomalidomide plus dex, especially f because this patient, the patients who were enrolled in this trial were mostly, if not almost all of them, refractory to lenalidomide and as you know today this is a real issue in the relapse setting how do we treat patients who relapse on lenalidomide or who are uh, primary uh, refractory so this is a very important uh, uh, study so that was the second point monoclonal antibodies and uh, with anti-CD38 target the third uh, topic that I would like to draw your attention on uh, is uh, do we still need to do autologous stem cell transplantation? You know, this is a very uh, major issue in the field of myeloma treatment. And um, the IFM uh, published uh, not too long ago that uh, uh, indeed we, sh we should still do it. But uh, you should l have a look at the so-called Forte trial. Uh, presented by uh, Francesca Gay from uh, Torino, Italy, and uh, without going into the details of the trial, uh, she compared um, KRD, carfilzomib, brevlimid dex induction, autologous stem cell transplantation plus uh, KRD uh, consolidation uh, versus KRD only, 12 cycles, without autologous stem cell transplantation. And um, she showed that actually the results were quite similar with or without autologous stem cell transplantation. But during this meeting, 
the EHA meeting, she updated uh, the results and she was able to show that um, actually uh, it remains um, uh, in fa it remains very important, especially for the high risk myeloma. For this subset of patients, you really need to do the autologous stem cell transplantation. So this is the third uh, subject topics. The fourth one is also a very interesting one. It is uh, about steroids. As you know, it's, there are no real guidelines on how long should we uh, keep steroids. There's no question that steroids is an important part of myeloma treatment, but we may give too much steroids, if I may say, to our patients. Actually, um, Alexandra La Rocca from Italy um, presented a study uh, comparing Revlimid Dex until progression uh, for uh, <laughs> old for, for old patient population versus Revlimid Dex nine cycles, nine cycles, and then Revlimid only, so without steroids. And uh, she was able to show that actually uh, you, you don't have um, worse results without the long-term treatment with steroids, even better without it, and of course less toxicity. So this is important because um, uh, probably in the near future we will still use steroids, but with um, a shorter time probably. So again, during uh, EHA 2019, uh, we had uh, new information uh, about uh, the so-called new drugs. And I would like to start with what we call now the BCMA therapies. And uh, that includes, well, why do we call them BCMA therapies? Because the target on the malignant plasmocytes is BCMA. So we have actually three uh, uh, treatment approaches. We have, of course, the CAR T cells, and then this, this was uh, published recently uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, by Neopur Raj from uh, Boston. And uh, she updated again uh, this, this very uh, um, uh, encouraging results. We also have the so-called BITES, the B-specific base, base uh, antibodies uh, then that, 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 that has been also updated during this Congress. And finally, also a very interesting uh, approach, it's called the uh, Antibody Drug Conjugate, uh, ADC um, uh, treatment. It's a monoclonal antibody targeting uh, BCMA and uh, carrying a chemotherapy and um, the, the, the results are uh, very encouraging also. Um, we also had an update on more um, targeted therapies such as um, venetoclax. And, and as you know, it's uh, particularly um, efficacious for patients who have the translocation uh, um, 1114. And uh, it's also very active in combination with a uh, proteasome inhibitor. We also heard about Selinexor, which is also in development, and uh, a new image uh, developed by Celgene, um, uh, apparently uh, very encouraging, especially also for patients who, who have become uh, refractory to uh, lenalidomide and, and pomalidomide. So uh, altogether, uh, this was a very, very uh, exciting congress uh, for myeloma.